In his farewell message last week, former NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine says he is excited to watch NASA's milestones from the sidelines. One of those sought-after milestones is quickly approaching. NASA is preparing to land the Perseverance rover next month, along with the first small helicopter. NASA has a mostly successful background landing robots on the Red Planet, but this one is a pretty big deal. ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Bowles is here now to tell us about the daring operation. Well, Julie, Perseverance will be the fifth rover that NASA has attempted to land on Mars. And a lot is riding on this new robotic mission because the goal of NASA's newest, most advanced rover yet is to seek out signs of previous life on the planet. So according to NASA, only about 40% of the missions ever sent to Mars have been successful. The touchdown is slated to happen on February 18th. After arrival, the wheeling robot will explore Jezero Crate, a large impact crater about 28 miles wide. Scientists say this crater was once a lake, and it's the best place to find clues of ancient microbial life. Now, as we mentioned, the rover has a helicopter strapped to its belly named Ingenuity, and it'll deploy shortly after a safe landing on the Red Planet. Leaders gave an update on the mission just yesterday. The plans for Mars sample return are multifaceted and complex, but it's exciting how our technologies have matured, bringing us to this point where we can now attempt this amazing feat. And get this, in the final stage of rover's descent on the red planet, NASA teams will be totally in the dark. That's why they call this phase the seven minutes of terror. It will hit the Martian atmosphere, traveling at over 12,000 miles per hour, using thrusters to steer toward its landing target. Wow, science is so cool. Perseverance is expected to collect samples that will be returned to Earth and to test some technologies for future Mars missions. To read up on the entire mission, you can do so in this web story over on clickorlando.com. And there's now an easy way to get caught up on what's going on on the Space Coast and in orbit. You'll want to check out our space newsletter that comes out every Wednesday afternoon and it contains all the latest space news on ClickOrlando.com.